Guys, what's up? It's Aggie here with Baseball Prodigy. I was just getting in a quick set of curls. Just kidding, obviously. But just uh, wanted to talk today. I got a question this week that I thought was outstanding and one that I just assumed everybody already knew the answer to. But we don't want to assume it. So a kid's getting ready for uh, the SAT. And he texts me. He's like, Aggie, my SAT's on Saturday. Does it really matter to college coaches? And I was like, uh, yeah, it matters a ton. Okay, student athlete, not athlete student. So briefly, there's a sliding scale, okay? So did you know that only 94% of colleges can recruit you in the country if you don't have a 3.8 GPA or better? Bet you didn't know that, okay? So that's gonna eliminate 6% of colleges. And you go, well, 6%, that's not that many. Well, there's 1,700 colleges. So you just eliminated 100 of them? right? Just because your GPA wasn't high enough. So back to the SAT question. Yes, it matters. So the sliding scale goes like this. If I'm a really good baseball player metrically, right? Have a 95 mile per hour fastball coming out of high school, good breaking ball, good feel on the mound, then guess what? I can probably not be as good of a student over here. However, there is a baseline minimum that even the top schools in the country need to meet. Okay. So let's say Harvard, for instance, you need to have a 29. ACT to get in there, 29. That's your baseline minimum for any student athlete, okay? So on the flip side of that, if I am, let's say, all things being equal, but I'm 86 to 88 on the mound, and I have a decent breaking ball, but maybe not a great one, my changeup's okay, and my frame is like I'm six foot, 165 pounds, I'm just, I haven't filled out yet, then guess what? My SAT, ACT, they need to be up there through the roof. My GPA needs to be up there in order to be recruited by a certain level of schools, okay? So great question. Just wanna make sure I answer that for everybody. It's a sliding scale, but absolutely SAT, ACT matter for schools that require it. And G GPA matters a ton, even more so than whether or not you're taking AP courses, okay? So just little tidbits that I think can help you. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna get back to my curls. <clears throat>